What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's a Wednesday, so you know what that means? WTF Wednesday Beer Review. For those of you who may be new to the program, WTF Wednesday is the one day a week when Anderson and I try a beer we normally wouldn't on the program. Sometimes that means we do stuff from the big boys, Bud Miller and Coors. Sometimes we do strange offerings from microbreweries. And sometimes we do international beers to add a little bit of international flavor. The beer we have today is called Kilmes Classica. And this is from Cerveceria y Malteria Kilmes. And it's from Kilmes, Buenos Aires, Argentina. So that's pretty cool. Now, Argentina just won the World Cup recently. Do you think Messi drinks this? I bet he does. I'll bet Messi's had more than a few of these in his day, wouldn't you think? I don't know. I mean, a lot of athletes don't drink. Well, fair enough. I'm not saying he pounds them. <laughs> but I'm guessing at some point in his life, how old is the man? He's, he's getting it on in his career, right? He's got to be an old dude. He's had to have had one. I don't know. One. He's at the top of his career. I understand that. But I'm saying it's not like he's 19, right? I mean, he's had to have had one of these at some point in time. It'd be like asking an American, did you have a Budweiser? Even if you don't like it, you had one at some <laughs> point, right? You would think. You'd think. Now, the only time I've seen these around from time to time, I'm not sure if I've ever had it. I have to check my untapped check-ins. I don't think that I did. I remember seeing it at an a Argentinian steakhouse in London. Actually, you know what? I must have had it then when I was in England because I went to this Argentinian steakhouse with my wife. And the only reason I go anywhere is to drink beers at the place. So if they, I know they had this because it was you know an Argentinian spot. If you're in London, why would you be going to an Argentinian spot? Well, I was there for a while. I went to all kinds of different places. I went to a Chinese restaurant. I went to a, a tapas spot. I went to a, the, the steakhouse. And then I had fish and chips. You, you, and that enjoy, kind of stuff as well. you didn't enjoy fish and chips and London pub food? I quite enjoy the stuff, to be honest. I think England gets a bad rep as being bad food. And it was years ago. Like, I lived there when I was a kid, and it was effing terrible. Let me tell you, it was awful. Um, but now, I think the British got it together. They're pretty good now. Now, if only they'd work on their dentistry. <laughs> Fair enough. I just went to the dentist last week. I'm at, my dad was born in England. I'm, my family's Irish. I was born in England, and I have a bunch of cavities, and I'm just chalking it up to my ancestry. It is what it is. <laughs> but it, at some point, I'm going to have to have seven teeth drilled, and I am dreading that. I, I have an irrational fear of the dentist, so I don't go for like ages and ages. And then when I go, I need to get a million things done because I waited so long. So maybe this will be a lesson. Take care of your teeth. Go more frequently. So you don't have to deal with the stuff we have to deal with. <laughs> Thoughts by TK. Now let's yeah. get back to the beer that everybody right. wants to hear about. So it doesn't really say a whole heck of a lot on the, the can, I mean, on the bottle. There was something there written in, uh, in Spanish that we pulled up on Google Translate. And I did take Spanish in high school and college and translated it pretty accurately. I was surprised. I think you got everything but one word. Yeah, the word foam. I, was, I don't think I've ever seen the word foam in Spanish. But it basically just said, uh, you know, the beer is Kilmes Classica. Uh... Only made with ingredient, natural ingredients that are made in the fields of Argentina. Uh, it is... It's a very small font again. It's always a small font. Yeah, I can't see it. It says something about a new beer. Now, the one thing that's kind of interesting, I did notice when, you, when I went to look this up on Untapped, it said 2017 to present. So I'm guessing in 2017 they must have changed the recipe or maybe it changed hands or something. I was say maybe it changed hands or... Yeah. But this says Classica. Or maybe they... But it does say Classica. So maybe it's like the Coke Classic. Like maybe they come out with a new recipe for Kilmes and this is the old one. I don't know. But let's give it a shot. Did you really just try to unscrew that? I thought maybe it was. You never know. 4.9% ABV. Couldn't find anything on the IBUs. Ratings-wise, it's a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. On Untapped, it gets a 3.06, which is a respectable score in my opinion. Beer Advocate at 2.67, not a very good score. Uh, and the, the aggregate score there, the critic score is a 63 poor. So that's not very reassuring. No, not at all. Now, when I look at those ratings, untapped to me is more like the people's grade. Because um, Beer Advocate tends to have way fewer people that actually take time to do reviews and write them up. And I think they tend to be pickier. So I usually expect a lower Beer Advocate score and a higher right. untapped score. Now, let's look at this. Clear gold once again. I mean, that's break out my clear. Brew HQ chart. This is probably a two or something. This that's is, a one. It's crystal clear. It's pale straw colored. One or two. You can see right through it. Um, that's a urine sample. Yeah. Fair amount of carbon. <laughs> it depends what you've been drinking or eating. But yes. <laughs> fair amount of carbonation. Head, you know, kind of what I expect. It's, it's actually kind of a, sticking around. Yeah. It's a thin, maybe like half a finger. Granted, we split a beer between us. Maybe we'd have had a more robust head if we poured... 
an entire bottle to one of us. Um, Whitehead looks kind of very fine. Almost looks like a nitro here. Oh, yours doesn't. Yours looks bubbly. Mine yeah, looks mine's smooth. soapy. That's strange. Mine doesn't. Look. Yeah, mine looks kind of soapy compared to huh. yours. That's weird. But either way, they're both sticking around for yeah. much longer than you expect for a pale yellow yeah. beer. I mean, I'm guessing this is just going to be Euro lager esque Right, once thoughts. again. Yeah, let's give it a sniff. I'm not getting much of anything there. No. Maybe, again, generic beer. Actually, if you get way in there, it's a little harder, I guess, because there's only so little beer in the glass. It, it smells a little bit sweet. I would say generic beer is slightly sweet. This is what my carpets at Kutztown University smelled like after a party. That's disgusting. Just beer. Yeah, that's what it smells like. All right, let's go. Cheers. Super light body. A bit on the sweet side for me. It's a little bit of sweetness, but there's not there's not a whole lot there. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's watery. There is some bitterness, but I mean, it's all very subtle. Some, and light. Yeah, subdued. You get subdued, like a, a kind of like a sweet bready malt, but very subdued. You get a little bit of hops, but not enough to give you a bite or any kind of real presence. It's just kind of there. I mean, if you gave this to me, I would know it was beer. Yeah. But there's dozens of beers it could be. I would never even guess. You could tell me it's Bud Light or... Or any number of beers, it, and I would probably it, it, believe you. It's sweeter to me than most of the American macros. I'm usually not a huge fan of the macros. Um, it has a macro quality and taste right. to it, for sure. And I don't know. If I was at a steakhouse or you are eating somewhere and someone gave you this, yeah, I could probably drink a couple of these. It's not offensive. Um, but it's probably not something that I would seek out. Again, 63 pour. Do I think it's so bad that it's a 63 pour? No. That's an F in most places, right? I don't, I don't know that it's that bad. Maybe it's a D plus. I don't know. Um, I don't think that it's that bad. I don't know that I would give it a grade much higher than that. <laughs> so for me, I don't know. I'm going to give it an eh. I, I think was, it's okay. I was saying the same thing. It's an eh. And I, I don't know if I was the uh, Argentinian national team, if this is the beer I'd be using to celebrate the World Cup win. Yeah, there's got to be some other great Argentinian beers. You know, I hate to say it. I don't think I've ever seen another Argentinian beer other than this. I can't say I've ever seen one until today. I've known about this for a while. I mean, I've seen this before. I know what it is. Um, but the other ones, I don't, I don't know that I know any, which kind of sucks. I'd like to try some more Argentinian beers. I mean, there's a lot of uh, German heritage down there. You think you'd have a big brewing culture, I would imagine, right? You would think. I mean, it's nice that they have it in a brown bottle. Yeah, as and, opposed to the green or clear. <clears throat> Once again, this beer being from another continent and coming to who knows where, then the place that you bought it from, to your house, it's held up surprisingly well. Yeah, so I guess this came through Miami. It says here, imported by Pampa Beverages, Miami, Florida. And then I got it from Halftime Beverage in New York. So it's at least going from Miami to New York to Ohio. Right. Um, so in that regard, not too bad. But I guess overall great for Kilmes Classica, eh, is all right. I would have another one. I wouldn't seek it out. That's probably Fair enough. my assessment. Hey, hopefully you like the video and don't think that we're eh. Maybe we are. I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully you do. Hit that thumbs up button. Give us a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. As always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had Kilmas Classica? Do you know what the Kilmas tasted like before 2017 or whatever? It said, what's the old one like? I'd love to check that out. Are there any other Argentinian beers we should be on the lookout for? Again, this is probably the only one that stands out to me that I remember seeing. So, you know, if you have some recommendations, let us know. Hey, until next time. Cheers. Cheers.